be very careful. Be very careful yeah. that we're not bringing heavenly things to earthly things. But what you, what you, I knew you'd say that. I, that's predictable. That you're thinking population, man, population. That's what it the doesn't man say, doesn't say that. says. It doesn't say that. Okay, what does reproduction mean? What does reproduction mean? What does reproduction mean for God? That's what you're going to ask. Okay, I'll tell you what. You want to ask first and foremost, who used the word begot? Who used the word begotten? The Bible? It was God who used it, right? In the Bible. Same one that you're using. Okay, so so you're saying you're saying. Wait, wait. You're saying God didn't use the word. Wait, wait, wait. So what word did God use? Just wait, wait. Guys, guys, wait. No, but you. He's backtracking now. Go on, go on, go on. He's backtracking. You are. The whole idea of you telling us to use the words. You put yourself in a cul de sac. Listen, it's very. Look, look. I'm just, I don't know the answers. I'm searching. I'm searching. Let's see who's right. You or, you know, or you. When it says reproduction. The Bible speaks for itself. But the same Bible the speaks for itself. I think you have just painted yourself in a corner. No, you haven't. This is not. You didn't realize that. No, no, hold on. This is the Bible. Why did you ask him to see the dictionary? You're Why did you say this is the Bible? Listen, the Bible. listen. This is not about. Hard. This is not about backing one into a corner. That's not what it's all about. No, but the learning. thing, the thing but, that no, the no, thing no, you, no, you no, said, no, God no, did not use the word. Listen very carefully. Did he not say that? Listen very carefully. What you just said is you're, you're black black No, no, no. You're no I said like you painted yourself black in a corner. Let me finish. What you just said is I back myself into a corner. We're discussing what is truth, aren't we? Yes. Right. Let's not back each other into corners. Let's talk about truth. About truth. It's, exactly. It's not about who's right or wrong. Yeah, it's not a person. I think, I think you should you should listen to it's what not. I said. I said you painted okay. yourself in a corner no, no. by using the word begotten and no, asking no. this you gentleman here. Wait, wait. Need to use that phrase no, either. I, I let you finish. I think you should. No. I think it, it's, it's on his chain. No. I'm challenging you on what you just said. No, you didn't let me. You didn't let me finish. But you said begotten. If you don't like the phrase, you claim that begotten did not. No. Mean okay, sexual. Like, I'm sorry, like but this is this is crazy. Listen, you're, you're listen. I'm gonna rephrase what you said. Listen, listen. No, 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 no. no. One second. You said we use the word begotten, all right? And you confess. Let's say, no, oh, let's be careful because the word begotten doesn't necessarily mean what you. And then we went to the dictionary and it says uh, reproduction. Let's go back to the dictionary. Come on. You're not making listen, sense. Come on, guys. I'm here to who requested? You're not making sense. Who requested the dictionary definition? Yeah, himself. Exactly. Well, when you showed it to him, he didn't want to accept it. Me myself. And I. You can shut me down if you want, that's your problem. It's not about no, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't John make sense. 10 verse 30. What does it say? Let's what? stick to begotten. Yeah, yeah. I and my father are one. Right. Now read John 10 34. Uh, 34. John 10 34. John 10 yeah. verse 30 says, yeah. I. Carry on, carry on. I'm going to continue. Yeah, carry on. So let's, let's not just rush on. Yeah, carry on. So what does it mean when it, it says, means who is. Who is. In no, no, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Who is. Who is the word? Who is that carry on, carry on, Who is the I there? Who is the I? Jesus. Jesus. You okay. I want, I want you to who said Jesus. Jesus. I said Jesus. Jesus, yes. Yeah. Would you agree? According to yeah. In that, in that yeah. context, yeah. Going yeah. Further, what does it mean when it says I and my father? What does that mean? It means I and the father. Uh, in that context, it means I and the father. Both of us. Both Basically, of us. we have Two. the same purpose. Same purpose. Yes. One Just like in John 17, 21. And then in verse 31, it says, then, and, then, and then what did the Jews do after that? What did they try to do? That's right. Why? For blasphemy. For blasphemy. Ah, blasphemy. He made himself out to be right. God. Yeah, why not? Now, so, so hold on. Before we go further, let's do some logic here. Yeah. Why would Jesus say such a blasphemous thing knowing they would stone him? No, no, no. The answer is there in the next verse. The answer is in John 10 34. Tell me, can you say I am? 34. Jesus is. Right. Verse 32. Yeah. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father. Yeah. My father. Yeah. For which all those works do you stone him? Then Jesus answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, right? Next one. Whose claim was that? But because that thou being a man makest thyself God. Yeah. Whose claim was that? Who claimed that? The Jew. Who's saying that? The claim of blasphemy. Whose claim was that? The Jew. Jesus or the Jews? The Jew who claimed who? You mean the who invented the word blasphemy? No. The who, made, who made who the accusation of blasphemy? Jews. Oh, the Jews, yeah. yeah, yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Jesus, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in the law, I said, ye are gods? Which law? So he's trying to prove them. Yeah. Who are gods? Carry on, carry on. Carry on. No, no, no. Oh, call, call, uh, if you call them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, then say ye of him, whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, Thou blasphemy because I said I'm the son of God. So who called they were called? They say you didn't say he didn't say okay, one, one at a time. Guys, 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 guys. One at a time. First and foremost, when when they made the accusation of blasphemy, what was Jesus' response? He pointed them to Psalms 82, 6, where the Jews, the elders, the judges, were referred to as gods. Not just sons of gods, 
they were referred to as gods and wait, wait, in, in Hebrew there's no small g anybody brother brother one the son of yeah, we're going to that, inshallah. Okay. so what I'm saying is that Jesus himself is telling the Jews that your claim of or your accusation of blasphemy is something which is contradictory to what the Bible says so Jesus is telling them even if I said God that I am God yes this doesn't mean that I am blaspheming because God himself calls the Jews, the judges, in Psalm 82, 6, he calls them, ye are gods, the sons of the Most High. Now, who are these people? They were mortals. Uh, Psalm 82, 6. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but you have to look at the meaning of the word in Hebrew. You have to look at the meaning of the word in Greek, not in English. Look at it in English. Hebrew doesn't matter. No, no, but that does matter. It does matter. Why don't you look it up? And the tell word of God different. in Hebrew means something different to what you don't know. Why don't you look it up and tell us if it's different, okay? Friend. Let him say that. You don't know. You. It's in Greek and the Hebrew, the word God doesn't mean, in that, in that psalm there, it doesn't mean the eternal, omniscient, glorious. God. Yes, it just it means God with Jesus a small g. Yes, okay. first, right? first Jesus, however, is inferring and implying that he is God. He didn't say big G. Did he say big G? Sorry? He said he's a son of God. He didn't say he's God in that no, passage. He, he didn't say big G. In that passage. Wait, wait, wait. You know, that, that was the best time for Jesus to admit. Because, listen, guys, guys, come on. If too many people are talking, then we won't get anywhere. Okay, so Jesus, at that time, was the best time for him to claim that he was God. But what does he say? At the end, what does he say? I am the son of God. Yeah. Yes, he didn't say I'm God, did he? Son of God, yes. Yes. We're now, not, we're now wait, wait, that, wait, 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 wait. I haven't the, finished. The, the I haven't finished. Is that he's the son of God. My friend, That's the, point. the argument no, is that is he God? God. The argument is is he Almighty he God? Sin. Yes. Okay. If he's, he's God. if you forgive sins, he forgives sin. Only God can do that. Wait, wait, wait. That's wait. If you forgive sins, do you agree forgive sins? He accepted worship. Guys, come on. What is it? Thomas said, "My Lord and my God." Thomas said that. My Lord and my God. And Jesus accepted. Let me ask you this. If Jesus could forgive sins, yeah. did he need to die? Yes. yes. So for you. Let me get this. Let me no, get this no, right. He no, could. No, let, no. Okay. Let me get this right. He could forgive you and me and all of us. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait. Let me finish. I'm going to he could forgive. Question. He's going to. For, he can forgive. I haven't even finished yet. When he can forgive everyone without him dying. Like you said, he can forgive sins. Am I right? Of course. Yes. God so if, if he can forgive sins, okay. then why the need to die uh, on the your cross? Question. Okay. 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 A humiliating okay. death. Of, uh, the okay. Sins. I'm going to ask you a question. Of the sins yes. is death. I'm going to ask you. But we are jumping all over the place. Can we finish that? No, I'm asking your question. That's why I said what's the question. I'm asking your question. Why are they put him to death? Can we clarify what is the question, the question please? Jesus never claimed to be Almighty God. In fact, he said, "In fact, he says my Father is greater than I." He accepted worship, and he said he forgave people's sin. He forgave the lady caught in the Adultery. He, he forgave her sins. Know. You know when he said forgive yeah. sins, did he say I forgive your sins okay. or did he say your sins okay, are forgiven? Everyone, let me answer your question. Here's the answer. Mm. You need to quote mm. the Bible correctly. Mm. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. Yeah. This is what it says. And almost all things are by law purged with blood. We're talking about the Old Testament system, yeah, the old way of sacrificing all the animals. So yes. The old thing. And without shedding of blood is no remission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What you use the word Who are saying this? Whoever wrote it. Uh, no, now, we don't know. So you're saying God will not forgive no, no, unless right. blood is shed. Let is that right? Let me, let me, Did I get that right? <laughs> the word you use is forgive. Okay? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, wait, no wait, forgiveness wait, without no, the shedding no, no, of blood. No, no, no. In listen carefully, listen carefully. The word you used was forgive. Blood sacrifice. That's what I said. Blood, blood sacrifice. Is that, is that correct? You used yeah, the word yeah. Human blood what sacrifice. Is the, what is the word does the Bible use? Mm -hmm. Bible, what, what, does is, what word does the Bible use? Remittance? Rem 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 Remission yes. is very different to forgive. Really? Very different. What does it mean? If you punch me, I can forgive you. Yeah. Now there's a very yeah, there's yeah, a big yeah, difference yeah, yeah. between saying, look, it's okay, don't worry about it. Try. Or actually dealing with the sin you committed. Yeah. What is it? Let me explain it. Okay, go on. No, no, it feels. The Old Testament system. Yeah. All you Muslims say you're Muslim who deny the Old Testament. You need to go and study Moses, Exodus, and study the old uh, um, sanctuary system where all where the animals are sacrificed on a daily basis. When you understand those things, you understand what he's talking about. Have here. you understood? How about I'm those animals say, they use the goat they use to live? That's a good Let's question. Have you, have you understood? Have you understood? Have you understood? Let me answer your question. You, you can actually use flour to ask for your remission of sin. You're not listening. Not only blood. You're not listening. Well, now you know how it feels interrupting. You're not God. Are you going to tell me yeah. that? For 40 years and more, all the way through 
from the time when the Israelites left Egypt, okay, right the way through to when Jesus died, millions and millions and millions of animals would have died on a daily basis for, for, the, for, the, for, for the forgiveness of their sins. Are you sure? Man, what does the Bible say? Okay, let me tell no, you. No, I've not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. We're dealing with the word. No, but you're using the word. You're finish. using the Old Testament in let a very, finish. in a way which is I'm very answering your question oriented. You answer the question. You ask me if I'm not a Jewish oriented. Not, you're, you're, not a Jewish oriented. It's true. You're not waiting for me to answer the question. And it's on camera. We not need to be fair. You, you made a question. You. You've used the word forgive, yeah. and I'm trying to explain to you what remission means. Okay, go on. And you're trying to run too far. Okay. The word remission means that the sin that we commit. When let's go back to Genesis. When Adam and Eve, before Adam and Eve sinned, God warned us, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. Yeah, you will surely die. Now we know that is true because the moment they ate the fruit, yeah, the curse and came on the earth. They died. Okay? That is how serious sin is. You might argue, oh, well, it's just the fruit. Disobedience has caused this whole problem that we have today. Muslims against Christians, Christians against the whole world is in turmoil because of that one sin. Okay? And, in, oh, and Jesus prophesied in the Just a minute, just a minute. Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. Aha, that's good. Now, which means forgiveness. We'll come at minute. Which actually means, let me, I forgive your debt. Let me Same explain thing. to you. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Now, when you study the Bible deeply, you will find, you will find, that Jesus and the Father, Jesus and the Father, had made a commitment to save the human race in the event that they were to sin. So both of them now, made it. Now, Jesus now, and God. now, 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 so now, I'm not going to answer God. that question. God. Now, the man was in effect forgiven before they even sinned, but the remission came after the sin. Through the death of Jesus Christ, yeah, sorry, sorry. Right. man was remission, forgiven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remi they, they, they were forgiven good. before uh, they sinned. I like who that. was forgiven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. just told you. No, no. Who was forgiven? The whole human race. The whole so human race. Before they sinned. Let me finish. Let me follow this. Let me follow this. I would like to see that word. Let me follow this. Yeah, where is that verse? Yeah, where is that good. Let me follow it through. I like it. Let me see the word. No, no. Hold on. I'm forgiven. Let me explain. Let me explain. They were forgiven before they sinned. I tell you why we know. Have you got a verse? Which claims that? No. From the Bible. Yeah, or is this your own um, Let me go to Genesis interpretation? Let me go to Genesis chapter 1 for you. Oh, you want to get to Genesis? We are just jumping from words to words to words. Yeah, we're getting nowhere. If you're not going to let me answer the question, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, you, you, so we gave you enough time to answer the question. You still have enough time. Wait a minute. You were, you were discussing... Hold on. You were, but you're cutting me off. No, no. You were discussing John 10. I showed you I showed in John 10. When Jesus said... No, no. That's not called... You don't even know the meaning of the word. It's ingenuous. You don't even know the meaning of disingenuous. Finish. <laughs> when you went to John 10 30, ah, uh, you're running away. Okay, fair enough. Nice. When nice. you went to John 10 30, you him. went to another I'll passage. He's more respectful than you are. Oh, oh no, now you're trying, no, no, now no, you're trying, no, now you're trying to lay that you. You're shouting people down. And no, he's not. Hold on, I gave you enough time to talk right now. No, he's using, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, not me he's speak. using excuses yes. to run away now. Yes. We were discussing John 10 30, right? Yes. We were discussing John 10 30, and when I showed him, that the Jews were called gods, he didn't like that. Now he wants to run away. That's fine. You can no, always no, run away. Not respectful. Oh God. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. He's very respectful. We gave you, we gave you no, enough no, time. People to say respectful. We gave you enough time. You changed the topic. No, 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 no. Just, just because you say so. No, no, no. no. Just the Gary Google Mark II. He's asking a question, but he won't let me answer the question. Look, I did let you answer. Did I not let him answer? You talk for 12 minutes. And the camera. Now he wants to go to Genesis. Genesis. In Genesis 1, there's no remission of sin. Bye, bye. Let's try. This is what happens, you know, when, when we actually question them, they go to all these different topics, changing of topics because he knows he's cornered in one, especially when this gentleman asked him the meaning of the word begotten. Yes? Immediately that guy said, Look at the dictionary. When we looked at the dictionary, he didn't like it. Yes? And then he went to another topic. He knew it. He knew it. He did know that. And then he went to another topic. Jesus said, I am the Father of One. Yes? Again, I showed him in John 10 34. The people were even called God by God Almighty Himself. Yes? So even if Jesus called Himself God, that doesn't make Him God. Because what that means is that in the language of the Old Testament and even the New Testament, God over there is referred as a mark of respect for certain people. It doesn't mean Almighty God, but Jesus Himself says, "Yes, whenever He needs something, He bows down to Him, He prostrates to Him, He puts His forehead on the ground, and He begs God to take the cup away from Him." Yes, and this was done repeatedly by Jesus. But guess what? 
his prayers were unheard. They were rejected. According to the Bible, he said, Jesus is God. I said, but he always 